Howdy and hello folks, my name is Christian Sasser, but you can call me Mage4, and today we're talking about a game that's very important to me personally. That game, ARMS, <laughs> for the Nintendo Switch. On the day that this video is going live, this, the ARMS graphic novelization, will have officially been announced to have been quietly cancelled exactly one year ago today. Obviously we the public don't know exactly when this was cancelled, but the news broke. To, well, a year ago today. Oh, there will be some pictures on screen that help explain it for you. I think it's a shame. ARMS as a universe has a lot of potential. I think this wonderful free comic book day issue showed a lot of promise. We don't care about Korra, we want ARMS. Even in this already, we get the lore. There is more than one Springman. Springman is just a title. I think the art and the world building in this, it's great. It's a dang shame that it'll never see the light of day. And I've been thinking, why is that? Why did Nintendo cancel the ARMS graphic novel? Why is Nintendo so disappointed in ARMS in general? In this very unscripted video, we are going to be discussing ARMS, why you should still play it, and why Nintendo seems like they want to forget about it. To me personally, it seems like Nintendo really wanted to make ARMS a big competitive deal. Nintendo has hosted so many ARMS tournaments, including one before the game even came out at E3 so they could promote it. That's where the infamous Yabuki combo was discovered by the public. And in the game itself, there are so many aspects to it that just scream, we want you to play it competitively. For instance, there's a secret button combination you can perform on the main menu that activates tournament mode. This unlocks all the weapons from the get-go. Temporarily, of course, the ARMS dashboard is super useful. It lets you see who the number one players across the world or just in your region are. Additionally, you can watch official tournament clips and get in-depth details on the characters that the game itself doesn't go into depth into. It's literally built into the game. It's absolutely wild to me how much Nintendo wanted ARMS to be a big deal and it just wasn't. So with that in mind, let's look at, for instance, ARMS' sales figures when compared to other games. On the day of recording, February 25th, according to Wikipedia's list of best-selling Nintendo Switch games, ARMS is at a paltry number 35, selling only 2.38 million units. Which, you know, grand scheme of things, 2.38 million of something is a lot. But let's compare to just 10 spots up, Clubhouse Games, banger game, love it, but not as good as ARMS, sold <laughs> 3.14 million. Oh, that's pie. Among Us has sold better on Switch than ARMS has. Granted, Among Us is $5, so it's kind of an apples and oranges comparison, but you get the point. Pokemon Legends Arceus has only been out for about a month or so, and it's already number 18 on the list. Splatoon 2, the game that came out a month after ARMS did, has sold 12.68 million units. That's like... I don't even know the number word multiplication. It sold a lot more. <laughs> Honestly, this is a little tangenty, but I think part of the reason why ARMS didn't sell as well as it should have was because Splatoon 2 stole its thunder. ARMS had a month to breathe and then Splatoon 2 came in and said, my turn. I love this freaking game. I love it a lot. And I feel like the Nintendo community as a whole and Nintendo themselves just don't give it what I think it deserves. Obviously I have some bias because the game came out in early high school for me, but I still think it's a ton of fun. I think the characters are great. The animation is spectacular. The music is amazing. The art style is great. I like the gameplay. I don't like the motion controls. That's a topic for another day. So even though I think there's so much to like, the rest of the world doesn't. So all you ARMS fans out there, we're an endangered species. Actually, wait, I, I just realized I'm wearing the shirt of the enemy. I'll be right back. Okay, so with all of that in mind, what does the future look like for ARMS? If there even is a future. Unfortunately, I don't know if there is one. I don't know if there will be an ARMS 2. I think as much as I love this game, there is so much more they could have done to flesh it out in the base game, but they just didn't. This is such a good wireframe for a better game. I will admit, as much as I love this game, it's not the best game on the, in the world, you know? I don't think there will be an ARMS 2 because for one, sales, and even besides sales, it seems like Nintendo just doesn't really want much to do with ARMS. They had an odd tournament every now and then, but like, that's about it. Outside of the first two years of release, Nintendo hasn't really supported the game. And I think this bleeds into the cancellation of the graphic novel. If we take a close peek at the cover of this free comic book day preview, available at your local comic shop, January 2019. The original release date was supposed to be fall of 2018. I remember that very vividly. And 
they got quietly canceled in 2021. So clearly, while Nintendo has had ARMS on their mind some, they just don't really want anything to do with it. What I'm thinking is, Nintendo wanted ARMS to be Splatoon, but again. Splatoon, very colorful. It is a new twist on an existing genre that will revolutionize the way you think about it. It has very distinct, colorful, fun characters that are very likable and are easy to get attached to and are merchandisable. Nintendo thought that ARMS would be like Splatoon in that matter, and it would sell well because of that. I think in trying to make ARMS like Splatoon in that way, do you think people saw through that? Was ARMS shooting themselves in the foot a little bit? That is a little disheartening to think about because all those things that I mentioned are things that I like about ARMS, but there are also things I like about Splatoon. To wrap it kind of back around, that's why they canceled the graphic novels. They just don't care anymore. Okay, out of all this that I've talked about, Nintendo not caring anymore, caring at first, not caring anymore, and just giving up on the game because it wasn't another Splatoon, a new IP that with fresh take on a whatever, you, you get the point. Why was Min Min added to Smash Brothers? Now, don't get me wrong, I am not complaining. I love that there's an ARMS character in Smash. An ARMS character was the one character I wanted most in Smash. I'm so glad we're finally getting an ARMS amiibo so I can have one of these stupid figures and it's an ARMS character. <laughs> but it doesn't make sense. As we've established, Nintendo no longer cares about ARMS. But they put one in Smash. Uh? I think Nintendo's poor treatment of the ARMS IP is apparent in Min Min's Smash appearance because of the way they treat her. Don't get me wrong, Min Min's moveset, immaculate. It is perfect. It feels like I'm playing ARMS, but in 2D. Literally could not be any more faithful to the base game, and as an ARMS fan and an ARMS player, so thankful. It is translated incredibly well, and there was so much love and passion put into the moveset that it was fantastic. Sakurai and the rest of the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate development team did an amazing job in the gameplay. But there are so many tiny details that show me they didn't care that much, especially when compared to other characters that Mr. Sakurai is a fan of, such as Joker, Terry even. At this point, this is just me nitpicking because I'm angry. <laughs> I think Min Min smiles too much in Smash Bros. In ARMS, she's very frowny. She rarely has a smile on her face. One of the only times we see her smile is in the Party Crash Bash promo artwork that shows that she won the whole tournament. That's the only time in ARMS we see her smile and it's in promo art. She smiles so much in Smash Bros that it feels out of character. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to sound weird about it or anything. I just think they're mischaracterizing her with such a small detail. Additionally, the spirits feel lackluster. There's only the only DLC ARMS fighter to get spirits in Smash was Max Brass, because he's in the base arms game. Lollipop, Springtron, Misango, and Dr. Coil only appear in the stage's background. That's it. We don't even get mention of Biff, or The Cell, or Headlock, or Golden Headlock, and those are the only other arms characters. And like, no Headlock! Headlock could have been the final Smash! Min Min's final Smash sucks. I know I'm being dramatic for the sake of a YouTube video, but I genuinely hate Min Min's Final Smash. It makes me angry because of how lazy it is. The like cardboard cutout JPEGs of ARMS models in Smash Bros in the lighting engine, they look atrocious and the attack itself doesn't make sense. They got so much right where it mattered most, but got so much wrong where it mattered the least. And when the, a lot of the other characters in Smash get so much right where it matters the least, it feels underwhelming to get a character represented like how Min Min was. I'm supposed to be talking about ARMS itself, not Smash Brothers. With all that said, ARMS is in a weird place. I don't think it has very much of a future, if one at all, like I've already said, but if you have the money, please play ARMS. If not, download the demo, give it a shot, give it a try, maybe borrow it from a friend. The competitive online ranked is still good. People still play online. I, on stream, went in a party match and I got a bunch of people in the lobby playing. And this happened today, on the day of me recording this video. The game is still active. People still play this game, and I'm asking you to give it a shot too. Because maybe if we show that we care about ARMS, 
Nintendo will start to care about ARMS too. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I wonder how many times I've said ARMS in this video. <laughs> I didn't realize I was so emotional <laughs> and passionate. I think I like video games too much. <laughs> if I can get my background video to load, that'd be awesome. Here's some footage you'll never see.